Hey guys and welcome to PsyQ. This is cool shit that happened in science and these are the three coolest science stories from this week. Number one, it seems severely wounded vets will soon be able to get some help down under. The military has funded research on testicular regeneration. Now, why are they doing this? It's estimated 440 American soldiers came home from the war in Iraq with testicular injuries, making it difficult or impossible for them to have children. Researchers at Wake Forest have now grown testicles in a lab using the stem cells taken from these injured soldiers. These fully functional, sperm-producing, lab-grown testicles can be immediately transferred onto the soldiers whose stem cells were used for the production. Because the stem cells come from the soldier himself, there's no risk of the testicle tissue being rejected, and the sperm that those testicles produce will also belong to the soldier. Number two, NASA proves once again how awesome they are and why the government should never, ever, ever, ever cut their funding with this viral video made by their supercomputers. Hashtag Blizzard 2016 has been trending on the internet because, as you probably know, there's been a massive blizzard hit the East Coast hard this week. This video shows a real-time simulation of the storm from New England to Florida. Over the past year, the space organization has taken to social media to keep people posted about their initiatives and new findings, and one of the most popular threads has been by astronaut Scott Kelly. Kelly has been sharing pictures of the view from the International Space Station, as well as experiments taken from up in space. Follow at Station CDR Kelly to get a glimpse of some really cool views from space, and see a scientist doing science communication in the coolest of ways. Number three. The fight against sports-related concussions continues with promising new technology. Force Impact Technologies has developed a mouth guard that has a built-in LED light to alert coaches and players of a potentially traumatizing head impact. It's called the Fit Guard, and it's programmed to flash three different colors depending on the impact. Red indicates severe impact, while green indicates low impact. If the impact is not dangerous, the mouth guard will not flash any color. The mouth guard stores the data from an impact and it's paired with a Bluetooth or mobile device so that information can be downloaded. The data is also stored in the cloud, which allows doctors to go back to previous recorded impacts and check that player's history. So that was this week's coolest shit in science. If you'd like to know more about these amazing technologies, all the links and all the information are in the description. And what do you guys think about these new technologies? Which one was your favorite? Testicles, NASA, or mouth guards? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.